Hey everyone, I'm Nicole and welcome to One Voice Magazine's A Spoonful of Mana. For the month of June, we're talking about my voice, the significance of it, the wonders of it, and the impact it naturally has. Today's verse is Ephesians 4 verse 29, which says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Now, this verse talks about making sure that everything we say is something that is good and worth hearing. Because more often than not, the world is listening. There are people around us who, though we don't notice, hear how we talk. They hear how we speak. And how we speak can affect them for the better or for the worse. So, story time. I remember back in college, we had this thing called Hell Week. Hell Week. Hell Week happens when the poor student body is plunged into consecutive days of brain-draining exams and impossible deadlines to juggle. It's also a week where the hallways are filled with anxious students. I remember passing through those halls, hearing classmates swear and speak profanities to somehow funnel their frustration and stress. It's usually a toxic time. My Christian friend and I had this habit of praying before exams. It was a small thing we do, but as a grade-conscious student, exams were the Goliaths of our day. So my friend and I would come and huddle in a corner by the lockers, and we would pray. After each exam, we would say things like, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. The exam is done. And whenever we pass an exam, we also just say it out loud. Thank you, Lord, for helping us pass. My friend would also post encouragements in her Facebook page during Hell Week, and we'd pray for each other despite the stress. Now, I kid you not, I didn't realize that some of our classmates were actually watching us. I had one classmate come up to me and say, You know what? I wish I had what you had. And I was pretty shocked. For someone like me who was talkative, I fell silent out of surprise. What do you mean? I asked her. And then that classmate of mine continued, You and your friends seem different. You don't swear when the class is swearing. And when everyone is stressed, you guys seem okay. She talked about our Facebook posts and what she saw. While the other classmates would complain online, our Facebook posts had encouraging words. This brief encounter with my classmate opened the door for me to tell her about God and to share a bit about the gospel. So, you know, here's the thing. It's true when the Bible says, don't let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths. And sure, that includes profanities, but that also includes complaining without direction and speaking things that weigh people down. Because the reality is, the world is watching us. The world is watching how we react to difficulties and what we say in front of these difficulties. The world sees how we conduct ourselves, and yes, they are listening. Who would have thought that we would be noticed simply because we talked differently? The encouraging words opened a door for this person, for my classmate, to be in a position to hear the gospel. So, my dear brothers and sisters, let us use our voice today in the little things. Let's watch what we say because our words also point to the God who loves us. And our words represent a greater kingdom that we are citizens of. God bless you guys.